Welcome to this video where we'll talk about data types in C Sharp. A data type in C Sharp specifies the size and type of variable values. So in this video, we'll learn about some of the basic data types that you get to use when writing C Sharp as a programming language. So let's get right away. So in here, I still have a quote from the last class, uh, but what I'm going to do is actually start a new one. So uh, just like we used to, dot net new console, and we'll output that into a folder. We call that data types. All right. So while that goes on, let me collapse this. And then we have our program right here for us. So we'll just treat some of the basic data types we use in C Sharp. So what I'll go ahead to do is actually remove what we have here, remove the boilerplate code, and then go ahead to write our own. So the first one we'll talk about are all numbers. So all numbers are integers. Uh, so numbers that have no decimal points to them, basically. So for example, we have uh, int, something like this, int my norm equals five. Don't worry, in the next class we'll talk about variables and names and conventions, tiling and all that. So this is an uh, old number all number data type. Uh, so let me just actually do this. Let me place this as an all right in here. So integers are all numbers in C sharp. Then also we have double, which are floating point numbers. So numbers that have decimal points to them. They are called doubles. Uh, they are numbers that are not necessarily all numbers. And also we have character denoted by char. And uh, they only contain one single character inside them uh, as as their value. Also, we have Boolean that do not true or false. So Boolean is each be not true or false. It can not only have those two values. There's no false logic in there. Also, we have string. A string is actually a, a collection of characters, an array of characters. And we'll, when we'll get to collections and generics, we'll actually talk more about it. So we have something like, so these are some of the main data types you'll actually get to work with, int, doubles, char, bold, and strings. But there's actually a little bit more to that. We also have the floating point numbers, which are four bytes in value um, in C sharp. Uh, and that goes this way. If you want to declare floats, we do it this way. Um, okay. And you can have. You denote, you make sure that ends in, in an F. All right. Uh, so let me call that floats. We also have the concept of decimal. We have decimal data types. Okay, it could be D, it could be anything, but let's just make it M in this case. Um, so, and that, I will end up there. So these are some of the data types you get to work with as you start writing C Sharp every day. And I hope you actually get to use it. And uh, so in the next uh, video, we'll talk on how these numbers actually work.